Marsh Park in the Elysian Valley is a success story. The park opened last summer as part of the LA River Restoration Project. Its rocks and native plants not only help to clean runoff from city streets, but also create an urban greenway for the local residents. You don't have to think about cars driving in front of you or slowing down at a red light or anything like that. You do see water and you do see plants in the middle, and it just feels like you're away from everything else. The LA River Restoration began in 2007. A movement called Greenway 2020 aims to add 51 miles of trials from Canoga Park to Long Beach. By the year 2020, it will provide communities with new spaces to play, gather, and picnic. Our Greenway 2020 project is to create a 51 mile corridor that will run along the entire length of the LA River. That this will offer one of the longest recreational pathways in the country. Telling the people what the river was in the past and what it can be in the future is an important part of the restoration project. I've biked all the way around the river three or four times at this point. You know, you can see all the trash and everything that's accumulated in the river. The nonprofit Friends of the LA River has held annual river cleanups for 26 years. Hundreds of volunteers descend into the woods of the river to scoop up trash. This year, volunteers collected 20 tons. The organization also has a mobile classroom called River Rover, where visitors of all ages can learn through fun activities. It starts at the mountains. But for the river restoration plan to be realized, miles of concrete will need to be removed. And that hard work hasn't really started. A new estimate says the cost of the project will be $200 million more than the original estimate. The city will be responsible for about 17%. The reason why it's so expensive is because land in Los Angeles is so expensive. It's not to do with really the engineering or it doesn't have to do with the work it would take. The entire restoration could take as long as 30 to 50 years. A final report from the federal government on feasibility will be out soon. Meanwhile, budget officials have found possible funding sources, including anti-pollution grants and even a local tax increase. Wan Xu, Los Angeles.